So let's take a look at the shortcut to uh, switch to the color picker and really do some painting a little bit faster. Uh, first of all, let's create a very basic object, uh, maybe just a sphere. Although that's not a perfect sphere, it should be good enough, but let's just remind ourselves we can right click on the curve to select it and turn it into a perfect semicircle. And then at that point, our sphere is really a little bit more like a sphere. We can change the resolution to very low res or a little bit higher. And then at this point, um, I'm going to right click here to deselect the curve, go back to selecting the object. In fact, I don't even need this curve anymore, so I'm going to hit K for killing the curve and converting it to a mesh. So this time I have a mesh object, you see that right here. It's named lathe one. It's not a lathe anymore. I can actually change that and just call it a mesh. All right. So now that we have renamed this, I'm going to start painting on it. And so I'm going to reposition. I'm going to grab this paint colors and also the uh, this panel here currently looking at the widget move but it's going to turn into something different if I'm switching to this tool here which is the paintbrush. So if I'm clicking the paintbrush this menu item here this floating palette or panel is now known as the paintbrush uh, controls and you can change the size of it so for instance if you're painting here it's a fairly large size and if you make it smaller it'll be a smaller size. But you can also change for a given size, you can also change the opacity and we have a shortcut for that if you use the number keys at the top of your keyboard. Like number two will make it fairly small. Number one is the smallest, that's only a 3% of the original size. That's not the size, it's the opacity that you're controlling with that. So given a particular size you can go to very high opacity like fully opaque or you can perhaps pick a different color here uh, or you can go to a smaller size and those are shortcuts you can very quickly use on your keyboard as well to make it more opaque or, or, or less more transparent. Uh, let's say if you don't want that specular highlight showing here because it's going to fool you on what color you're actually applying. Uh, one thing you can also do here is go to a dark no reflective no highlight color mode and then go back to uh, painting into the base color. You can select the base color and it will appear in one of these views and you can of course also paint directly on here. So now let's say we have some colors in here that we like that were not picked directly from the color, from the, uh, color tool here but rather these were uh, the result of uh, blending over multiple colors at different opacities. Uh, and let's say we have one particular color we like to pick up here. Temporarily just press and hold the control key and you will see the color picker appear. And so as you're moving around now with the color picker in mode, in uh, at the control key down, it will go into this uh, selection of the colors and you see the paint color panel going very uh, crazy here <laughs> and changing colors very quickly. Uh, so as, let's say you settle on one of these light greens, let go of the control key and now we have p picked that particular color. So you can go and paint with that and you can still use the number keys to change the opacity there again. So you can go fully opaque by pressing zero or you could go actually here uh, and simply drag this to the 100% mode. And then of course you can also do that painting directly on the 3D object in any of these views. So that's the shortcut. Um, press and hold control to select a key, a color that you already have in your map or in your 3D object. There's a variant also called control and shift and when you pay attention look at the details on that cursor it uh, switches to a surface or SRF. I have yet to discover exactly what that does and what it's for. Um, I, evidently it's not picking the color. Uh, maybe it's, I don't know, taking a detail on the surface location or position or, or tension and yet to be discovered. So we will cover that in another tutorial.